welcome back to Yumi Neko when they cry. In the last part, we got a new Beatrice. Yeah, I know, right? Eva Beatrice, who is pretty much a little Eva, but she's so darn cute. Nice. That's a really nice dress. Also, I like how they all have roses in their hair, and they all have like that that party in their dress. It looks real cool. I don't know if that's inspired by like renaissance european clothing i'll have to look it up later and tell you probably not and they're all wearing like western style dresses and all that oh yeah rose returned to the lobby it was her time to rest her expression made it look like as if she couldn't sleep deep with all this tension take it easy and lie down it'll get tough later on this rate thank you concern i just can't sleep if you just let me take a shower, that'll be enough. Next person can rest. How about you two, Kiryasa, Rudolfza? What will you do, Rudolfson? Will, will we rest? You can rest. I'll stay awake. That's the only manly thing I can do right now. Then I'll stay awake. Staying awake with my husband is the only woman thing I can do right now. Oh my lord, you two are close. You should talk. <laughs> I think that even he and Yoshan are out cold. Here's all unlike Rosa, they can't fight against their rage. As in response to those words, the door of the hall clanked open. Ooh, they look they look ready to they look serious. <laughs> he just sees a type. Mm. Even here she returned from the guest room. That's none of your business. Oh Rosa, are you still alright without sleeping? You should talk, Nason. Why take it easy and rest? I just can't get to sleep. After taking a shower, my dryness faded away. Rudolph, Kiryasan, you can rest if you want. Sure, thanks. Well, I appreciate sentiment. Why don't you go first, Anarchy? How kind of you, but I cannot rest first. It is the most I can, the most I can do as an older brother. They are being so modest. They are being so modest to each other, yet... Like, the day before, they were, like... Against their throats, like, we need money. Now they're like, eh, whatever. Don't worry, two of us will be awake until the very end. More importantly, Ivan Nason, are you alright? You agree to pay you. Could be a bit of fever. He should put his hand up against Eva's forehead. Then Eva wasn't feeling her best. That goes without saying, it's because you broke your daily cycle at your age. Is it a cold? Natsui, could you call Dr. Nanjo down? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm not making a big deal out of it. I have some medicine, so I'll be fine. I tend to get a fever when I'm tired. Don't worry. Nason, take it easy, okay? Thank you. If the siblings were gathering me around, I get the feeling that everyone was talking behind my back. It's a per it's a per it's a perception comic from long ago. Sorry, okay? I won't say anything. You think that I would say something bad about when you're away, Nason. Do you want to go? I'll hit you with my fan like we did when we were kids. What is it? Nason, you've been acting strange for a while. Can you get a little rest now? You're right. Those freaking... Those freaking... That was so dramatic. Do you think about raising money by matrix my head to cut even worse? That isn't good. Rest. I'll restrain myself so that your headache doesn't get worse. I've had a bad headache for, for a while now. Thank you. Well, then I'll count on what you've said, or said and rest for a while. Well, sorry doesn't sweeten my beer. After apologizing several times though praying, he or she went after Eva and left the lobby. I don't like this atmosphere. Everything's so strange. That's no surprise. There was a murder early this morning, and since then we've been eating canned food and holding guns. It's natural that we just are too built up stress. I wonder if the kids up there are building or building up stress. I wonder about Maria. She tends to get irritable in times like this. At that time, they heard a sound of wild footsteps from the second floor. The guest house wasn't the building, so they wouldn't normally have that. Wouldn't have heard the sound of footsteps. The sound of someone stopping their feeling frustration, and if I additional witch seemed to be called by a running around the second floor. I hear Maria oo oo ooing over and over again, sounding displeased. Rosa grabbed her head, 
her hair flying, and she voicelessly moaned in, ag in anguish. The adults, the adults consciously turned their backs to her, pretending not to notice. The Weasley Kerm came from the second floor and flew into the lobby. It was Maria, who was sobbing, while the other children and Nanjo. In other words, they had all come down to become Maria's tantrum. But it was kind of hide her dizziness that the new annoyance her diet would bring to everyone. S Sorry, Rosobasa. We tried to calm her, but she wouldn't listen. Ew, 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 ah! What is it, Maria? Could you be a little more quiet? Everyone's looking. Is that Rosa first from the Rose Garden? She started saying that she would worry about it. It looks like she's half asleep. Uh, she suddenly woke up and started going on about it. she's worrying for that rose. Maria John, calm down. That was just a dream. Ew, ew, ew! That was Peach and Maria's rose! So Maria doesn't care about Peach will get mad! I'd be broken again! Ew! Ew! Ah! <laughs> that was so dramatic! I'm telling you, quiet down a little, alright? The sudden rise in the tone of Rosa's voice surprised the children. Maria's crying just grew louder, and her tantrum grew fiercer. Roshan, you must go with Chad on spring. Chad is good to give him some warm milk or something. Is there any, is there any here? I'm taking the milk out of bed. It is now empty. Don't anyone have any sedatives to take on kids? You know the silver pill things? I have them. Yes, I'll serve for them now and give them to her. Really? You have... You have... Oh my god. If you don't know what today's pills are, they're pretty much... It puts you to sleep. Not like a dog. It, oh my god. I can't believe Rosa admit that she has them. Good god, Rosa. I'm sorry, like, I do think she... I do think she's a good parent who's literally trying her best. But... Come on, Rosa. You're making it hard for me to defend you. Holding her display, Rosa grabbed the handbag that she had sent on the filth and fished around for some medicine. And then she had brought some chow juice today for Maria's tantrums. Found it open, the bottle must have been empty. Irritated, Rosa shook the bottle several times that didn't change the fact that nothing was in there. As she did that, Maria's cries grew even more intense. Oh, don't go look for the rose. Please do not go look for the rose. Don't be stupid. Stay. You're safe in here. Don't go outside. Why is it dark outside? Huh. It's weird. At that time, Eva was lying on the bed, covered in the beating be bedding. Okay, if I said, I don't know. Here she returned from the washroom, pulling a handkerchief soaked in water. My, oh, this is a nasty fever. I'm sure it's one of the poor children in the family comfort to go here. But now we can get all the other relatives, all right? And she spoke to her kindly. He soaked. He had the soaked hanging on Eva's burning forehead. Eva rested her own hand on top of his. Your hand feels pleasantly cool. If my hand feels pretty, it feels pretty good. Then I'm gonna make some top of the Put my hand in magic kind. I'm sorry, but these. I'm sorry. Like, Hiyoshi and Eva <coughs> are probably the only happy couple. Like, parents. Okay, Cross Natsui. It revealed in the first game, Kraus does not trust her that much. Sec Rudolph and Kyrie. <laughs> oh, you'll see about them. And then Rosa and her husband, they're just gone. These two are so sweet. <laughs> You're right. Your hand always makes my fever fade. Yep, no, so dark and got my heart. Wait, can you just. George, are you feeling better? I'm feeling much better now, Daddy. Thank you. Yes, I know. I can feel your magic. Wow. <laughs> I'm thinking of someone really naughty. Oh, fill me with your magic. Oh, I'm ruining this moment. About to call it to the placeable effect, but he stopped. She had said that she could feel magic from his hand. He was all right for now. I wonder if magic really exists. Yeah, it does. I don't know if it's really understandable. Looks like we're America down in the world. Magic actually exists. I wonder if witches actually exist too. Huh? You mean like witches are full of spirituals? She probably does just for that spirit. Just like God. Don't bring up God. I don't want to get controversy. Won't show himself in front of the same old group. Well, even people strongly believe don't see God. They say they... S no, they say they saw him, but I mean... Devil's proof! Haha, <laughs> if you heard that, that was me snapping. 
It's the same with me. Long ago, I was able to use magic. No, really? You're also it. You know, I had a dream that I wanted to come true no matter what. Strong and trying hard, it came without fail. With my magic, my grades were always the best. I became a student council president and worked hard to get into the university I wanted. Everything I wished for was granted. That's right. The mark would always seem to be reckoned with. You're definitely a witch. You work harder than anyone. I know all about it. I do admit, though, I mean, Eva... Yeah. Eva is kind of not the best person in the world, but she does work hard. She works hard. I like that. She's a, she's a go-getter. You know, when I was a kid the whole time, another me inside myself... Who always supports me? Oh, I wonder if a rock could bury me in the rain. And the self was a witch. I didn't want to even be just a witch of the forest. I always believed that it was a witch of Fukushima did exist, it was a witch inside my heart. I was so grateful to that witch inside myself, I was always grateful that she should let me meet up with you. You're all about to when you get sick. Don't say anything from now. I'll tell you the whole time until your fever's gone it. See? Hideyoshi is such a nice guy. These two words, oh, I love these guys. And it, it's sad because this is like one of the only times where you get to see them alone. To, well, I mean, the first, wait, are they, wait a minute, they're isolated. Are they going to die in the second twilight again? I don't think they will. I don't think she would, you know, re, re um, repeat the same kind of twilight. But these two are so sweet. Like, oh my, like, seriously? OT, well, not OTP. <laughs> OTP is Batman and Beatrice. Well, yeah, that one be just you'll, you'll see why they're just so cute together Yes, no matter what Don't take your hand away somehow Think like I'm becoming my, something that is in myself and I've been scared for a while now For which inside of me was provoked by Beatrice stronger and stronger So it's Okay Where are we speaking? This is probably a I know it, I know I sound like a I sound like your literature teacher this this witch is probably a metaphor for the evil in Eva's heart. So maybe Eva will be the culprit because the the witch inside her, Eva Beatrice, will get stronger and stronger, and eventually take over her and cause her to commit the murders. I don't know, it's just a thought. Somehow it feels like she's going to swallow me up. It's alright. Wrong on the truth of nothing to be afraid of. No time warned that Jane comes and holds Buster Drive. I about him. Why he did? <laughs> oh my gosh, Hideyoshi, what did he do? Didn't you just hand over the gun and want the big Wait, it was pretty lame, but it was cool. Bripped <laughs> 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 off. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That is funny. No matter what, don't move your hand away. Not even if I fall asleep. You saw something creepy sneaks inside. Protect me. Look, leave it to me. That's what I'm telling you to stop worrying and get to sleep. You mentioned my magic got working real soon. Bye, sugar girl. He finally calmed her tits and closed her eyes. At that time, there was sound of a door being opened violently from the direction of the lobby. Marie was having a tantrum, and screams of ooh could be heard along with Rose's rebuffing yells. I probably hurt Eva's ears. I was going back a headache. Eva moaned as though in pain and buried herself in the covers. Eva guessed what was happening. Eva probably had a change for some reason, gone down to the lobby and started arguing with Rosa as she scolded her child. And then, perhaps that was too pitiful to be shown in front of the other relatives, so Rosa had taken Maria out of the corridor. Here's a note that I interfered with Rosa and Maria's problem. But just for now. But just for now, this Eva condition was so bad, he wanted them to take their. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait a second. I have to keep it down. C come back quickly. Don't worry, I won't read this room. He removed the chain, opened the door, and stuck his face out into the corridor. He immediately met Rose's gaze. Everything all right, Rose? Son? I'm sorry. Did all this noise wake you up? Ew! 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 ew stop hitting me! Me trying to crawl, even about some feeling like you're trying to sleep. She quiet down a bit. Ryu's tone didn't change after being, after being shaked by Hideyoshi. She kept crying ooh and repeating Maria's rose, Maria's rose. Maria slapped Rosa's tree. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Rosa slapped Maria's cheek, lifted up her whole like covering her mouth. 
and dragged her toward the entrance, trying to at least get some distance between her and Hidoshi's room. She would probably be lagging for a while, but he had warned, but he had warned Rose for the time being. Right on Rose in action as a mother, Hidoshi closed the door. Is Marisha having a tantrum again? Looks like it. Tough to understand, too. I'm thinking of it. I don't know if you guys to be true. We should be grateful. Yeah, she sucks at the pain, but we Man, we raised the best kids ever. You're right. N hand. Oh, so, so, sorry. Oh, sorry isn't gonna fix my tea. It's, it's magic, hand. <laughs> my magic hand does magic stuff. He put his hand on Eva's forehead again. He knew he was magical power in that hand. Until he peaceful woke toward the Eva's face, and bit by bit she began to drift off into the lane of sleep. As he had promised, Hiyoshi kept his hand on her forehead. Ranges with her hand still against Maria's mouth. Whatever that was, what to do next? She had been able to stand everyone's gaze in the lobby, and had yelled at the child to go upstairs, dashing up out of the lobby. Then she gone to the only corridor, only that here she said that she was too noisy. Where should I go now? Where should I take this child who's having a tantrum? Little tears of frustration were about to come out, and Maria kept showing an attempt to scream. Rosa put her, put her mouth on Maria's ear, and tried to persuade Maria in a properly calm voice. Maria, do you really want to see the rose that much? Maria nodded around her head sometimes, moaning, ooh. Why do you want to see the rose that much? Oh, this is your mother, so will you tell me quietly? I would you if you scream. Mom, don't laugh at that. Maria's rose. We just revived it. It might have broken again. Maria's worried about that. Can't sleep until she makes sure. <sighs> In any event, seeing that she was so upset about that marked rose from yesterday. What about her headaches throbbing again? But she was at least so, she was a little bit relieved that Maria had now stopped her screaming. Anyway, everything is everyone's having a hard time right now. Don't bother Mom and everyone else. You can't worry about that rose if you want tomorrow when it stops raining. But for now, listen to me. No! 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 Please don't go. Look at the rose. Rose, I realized that was partially on fault and clicked her tongue in a self worth hatred. Maria thought that was directed at her and her crying grew even fiercer. I'm begging you, be quiet. What can I do to make you stop crying? What do you make you listen to what your mama says? Suddenly, Maria stopped crying so fast that it seemed unnatural. Then she turned around and muttered, If Maria can see her rose, Maria will be quiet until tomorrow. Why am I talking like this? Really? Yes. If we go to the rose garden, we will be obedient. Um. Don't do it. You're gonna get killed. Really, Mama? <sighs> I need a smoke and a beer. Don't do it. Don't do it. It would keep Maria quiet for the time being, Rosa thought that going out to win the ring would be a pretty small price to pay. She might be a bit reckless, but in the end, no murder or anything of the sort actually occurred. All of that clamor since this morning had been a farce up by Kinzo. Be careful we fought about the chain and closed rooms, it could have all back to be an act. Yes, really, Mama? Key! <sighs> Whether they never looked that creepy laugh and lightly hit Maria with her fist. And she shrugged as though giving up. Understood. Just one look, then I'll agree. Is that alright? Yes, Mama. I promise. Gee! <laughs> they are so dead. Once again, Rosa tests the weight of her gun. It's alright. It's only a farce. There was never a Merlin style in the first place. Damn it, damn it. Wait, Rosa Bossan. Was Boss from Maria sacrificed her at Twilight? Darn it, darn, 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 someone knows them. Tell them to stop. What are those guys in the room and those kids doing? Hmm. They are being considered our Rose's pin over lying to her daughter and are forced to change the subject. The group of you are in went up for second floor and time at something else while watching TV. <laughs> someone knows them. Who's the closest Hichio Jisan? Please knows those who are leading for the front door. Ugh! It won't reach. It won't reach. Ha ha ha. Don't disturb their pre pressure time together. 
Here she kept talking kindly, hitting on Eva's forehead. He noticed that Rosa and, Maria, Rosa and Maria were going outside in front of the door, the front door at all. Like he, there was no way the others in the lobby, which we inferred would notice. And the country on the second story was even worse. Why are you so panicked? Didn't you just beat me with that bold move saying the culprit died in the accident in the first twilight? I mean, if there was no other culprit on this island. <laughs> What's everybody so worried about? Shut up, I see right through you. Someone stop them. The two will be killed. Someone stop them. <laughs> there was no way that Bowers' voice would scream and reach Rosa Maria's. Two of them could be seen in the Rose Garden. It was so awful, but unfortunately, but fortunately, the wind had died down for a while. Whittle. No, maybe that wasn't fortunate. Because maybe if the Rose had the wind been a little fiercer, Rose might have hesitated to go outside. Ooh, here it is. We found her, found her robe with a gold lace and stared at it lovingly. Rosa accepted with the promise that Maria would only have to look at it, but she didn't want Maria to complain that had been enough later on. So I had to go along with Maria until she was satisfied. She believed that there wasn't a culprit. Well, in the off chance that she was mistaken, they were, they were now in an extremely dangerous position. I realized that they were faintly yourself. If things got bad, she would throw away her umbrella and raid her gun. Every time Maria's innocence happened, Rosa gazed wearily in all directions. Oh no. Were I just tired? No, no one had seen her. She finally saw something glitter in the dark rose garden. Gold colored? Had to be her imagination. Because the rose seemed as though gold butterfly danced around the rose bushes. You're right. It's too crazy. It's got that noise after all. I, I'm alright. Don't take your hand away. I'm begging you. Don't take your hand away. Eva was breathing wildly. Vita's, Vita's sweat were peering on her forehead. It certainly was true that she stayed up until all last night. Not saying it had been rough since early this morning. What an odd that her body wasn't keeping up. You know, she understood that. He understood that. He or she expected that this sun fever was having some serious illness. Four times, he or she tried to, tried to call Dr. Nanda, but Eva resisted firmly. He even under that saying is, and saying that it was more important that he didn't take his hand away. Thank you. I'm fine. I never had to tell make this fever subside. And she said that Eva's heart scream didn't improve in the slightest. Don't let go. Don't let go. Who is it? She saw an umbrella move from behind the rose bush. When she threw an umbrella and wildly lifted her gun, when she did, the shadow of a person beyond the bush showed itself. Ooh, you go Basan? Wait, wait, what? You scared me. It's you, Nason. Do you have some business? Do you want to continue our early discussion? Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Wait, what? Yes, that's right. I'll just get enough. Oh, come on! Just die! Please, restrain yourself from Maria. I'll keep my promise, alright? I won't get in the way of your conspiracy. Conspiracy? What's that? Whatever you're thinking, that's up to you. I've no desire to get in the way. So please, not from Maria. As long as I get my share, that'll be enough. Excuse me if you heard that. The, the Upsilon had the burp. He's very nasty. I didn't mean to. Shut up! Or I'll shoot you. You can't shoot me! Don't be playing, bruh. Okay, I didn't know you were ghetto. You shield share. <laughs> Eva started laughing in a creepy voice. Rosa started when Maria stood blankly. Maria said just one thing. Who? Oh, Basan? Who are you? <laughs> you share. Who would give that to you? All this is mine, and all belongs to me, the Golden Witch Beatrice! I'm not yelling. Wah! Eva, 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 Eva! Hold on, don't let go- is this, how, is this how she was when she gave birth to George? It's like I'm being taken away by someone who isn't me! Hold on my hand! Don't let go! Oh! 
When did you ever work hard? You never worked hard for anything. You were always hiding in our shadows. You always came from Shadow Shadow without fighting, and yet you really think I'll call my visit and next you bring heavy gold? All oh, that is mine. It's all only mine. As a head, you should be a family. New Gunway, that's the name of Beatrice. Beatrice! It's Beatrice! Mama, Beatrice! Maria jumped at her mother in, in ecstasy. Where Tree and Maria called heartily and raised her gun high. Oh, snap. Hey, you're Nason, right? You're Nason, right? That's wrong. I know I'm the one who's your sister. Then who are you? Are you going to say that you're Beatrice? That's impossible. You died 19 years ago. Yes, you're definitely dead after all. I clearly saw your head was smashed. I'm your insides falling out like it was yesterday. How'd you be lying right now here now? Under the depths of Nautilus gets to a golden witch. The golden bitch in the name Beatrice will be handed down for all eternity. Maybe the Beatrice you knew met his death, but not name is now I know. Cause it is eternal. Kind of death does not exist for Beatrice. Oh, see that you've gone mad because of the gold. How pitiful, Nason. You know I'm not your sister anymore. Well, then, well then, as new Beatrice, I must have been my own resurrection ceremony. Well, no, what should I do? That's up to you. Beatrice, I'm already at the power of the deck, whatever she thinks for reality. You should grow used to it. You need it. Oh, I got the hiccup. Sorry. You worthless former sister. You should consider it on to have been selected as the first sacrifice off as a witch. At second twilight, I'll tear up my duo close about my own hands. I like this song. The first thing the new Maria wi Beatrice wished, for Max she tried to use was the pride of the limitation given to humans. Hickler, gravity. She went fully aware of her trained for to a witch after being weaved from those shackles. <laughs> Rose like, whoa, no, I'm tripping on acid. Now, the witch and Rose stayed as they were. Browns were trained all by itself onto the distance below them. By now, their feet were no longer attached to the ground. Prime realized that the ground wasn't retreating to the distance below them, but that she and the witch were being sucked to the rainy sky. Huh? Eek. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome! For humans shouting to the ground by gravity, there was nothing more unnerving than having their feet stop stuck into the, stick into the ground. However, to Beatrice, who knew the joy of being away from gravity as a new witch, it was enough to cause her whole body to shake with delight. Ron delight. Hi, Rosa. Do you remember Gongo go when you were small, when you used to talk about how I'd like to become a witch and fly around the sky? That dream has been granted right. I began ruin granted it for you. T stop it. Wait from the stream. You said it. You said you flew for the sky in your dream. You all said you hadn't wanted to wake up. You even mad at me since I woke you up, right? Don't worry. This time you won't wake up, alright? <laughs> Come dance with me in the vast rainy sky. Did we both wish we could fly like seagulls in the sky and escape the narrow boring island Rokojima? I make that dream a reality of yours because I wanted to share this dream of you and no one else. <laughs> it's so fun, Rose. It's so fun. Hey, look below you. Look at how small our mansion is. I wonder how much time we spent in a place that small. Now, especially shocked at how narrow and tiny it is. So feel. Enjoy. Rejoice. That power we yearn for. The power of moving from the sky is at will. Come on, let's dance, Rosa. Through the rain, through the wind. Let's fly around like we're dancing. I like you. I will shine some bless us. <laughs> Witch and Rosa are now like weeds flowing around the whirlwind. The rain poured down upon every part of their bodies. As the lining cave was shunned upon them, they choke in the joy of being released from the ground. However, the only for the way the witch, Rose was holding on, holding, holding on to her head. Rose is screaming over and over. Stop it! Forgive me, let me down! You're right, it's not a female you in the crawl on the ground. Well, I don't go back there. So I just a huge pressure on Rose the witch's face when she released that her joy was not being shared. Then a giant that went to her former sister's request. D no, I didn't actually want to be dropped that ground. Warren had been making Rose dance around, grow weaker, and stop. Other words, Rose once was again bound with her strengths of gravity as a human. Following, 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 the, following the rules that were, that were originally correct, Rosa began to ascend toward the ground upside down. It began to fall. Oops! That's right, if you don't take it down the way, this is what happened. Which had intended to send Rosa plummy, but she still wasn't used to using magic. At was about 100 feet in a rose bush, and the very, very natural result, Rosa died instantly. 
but the witch had intended to kill her. She had wished that Rose didn't die. Oh, don't be cheap. When she did, what is Maria doing in this? Just watching like, ew, this is fun. Was by, which should have been splattered around like a carpet of fresh blood, rapidly turning normal. Broken and crushed bones turn to normal. Torn and smashed flesh return to normal. Not easy with the breaks in the world, and how difficult it is to fix them. Anyone can take a life, but well, no human can revive a lost life. As a price thing irreversible, no one can prove no one prove they have suppressed humans. Sure gave a just sure gave her much, much greater realization that she was a witch and flying around the sky had. Awesome! I can revive an in an enemy life. Of course, Peter Song was the English witch. To be given to die, to bring to life in the queue of all repeated endlessly. Preacher Psalm of the English Witch is the queen who controls the cycle of life and death. Ah! One time I dropped a fishbowl. The fragile and beautiful bowl broke. I couldn't put it back together. I wanted to find that cute pop dyed gold which again after to land on the floor. No matter how much I cried, the sun shook their heads, saying that like broken thing and dead thing could not very right. I told them to learn something. You must not break things, you must not kill people. After all, you can't fix them. So far you can fix them. Then you only trouble for breaking them, right? Yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> for a while, the witch began to talk with how terrible and wonderful power she exceeded was. Life is pure, innocent, and also cruel. Just, just a little cruel, guys. A little. Ugh. You know, Rose had been her by. She went out cry of anger at the pain from her fall. At that point, the witch went out, went out and held out her hand. Sorry about that, Rosa. I didn't think flying this guy would be so much fun. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, sorry isn't gonna fix him. my- Shut up! I didn't know that humans could die so easily. I read their lives away even. Get to get up, okay? Play with me some more. No! What was dream you told me about when you were a kid? Go ahead and tell me about them all without holding back. As I am now, I can take anything no true, no matter how absurd. You make you fall into see a jelly. You can have you get sucked into a mountain cake. You make you sprout a golden butterfly and let you on walk in the garden, okay? See them after another. Let's start with the ocean jelly, okay? Stop it! Oh my god, is she actually doing it? Rose once again is thrown high in this rainy sky. Her sky was filled with raindrops, just drops of orange juice. When she looked down, Rose had the doubt her eyes. The rose garden disappeared and the ground spread her fire, a pencil colored jigsaw puzzle. It was from a dream that she had taught when she was young, an ocean of jelly. The black part was coffee jelly, the red was strawberry, the yellow was pineapple, the green was melon. What was the white part, apple? The girl even had to think about something like that. What if it falls toward that multicolored ocean? Then even did a purple grape flavored ocean. It really was an ocean of jelly. It had no bottom. At Rhoda Thing, she was shocked to see a, the school of transparent fish swimming for the grape ocean ocean. I said ocean twice. They're probably made of grape skin. Sunk into deeper and deeper, as deep as the, the ranch trench. Caught by the water and pressure of the jelly ocean, as the rip snaps, her spine snapped. In the end, she had become a small, frail meatball. No, <laughs> What a truly wonderful experience to drown the death of an ocean of jelly. But no one else can imitate. I've made it true for you, yaw! And then I snapped my fingers, the meatball I had, I, that had been Rosa was launched into the sky. After being wrapped up in a golden spark, which she returned to her original form. It was simple and easy as returning dry sea with your original form. Anyone can do it. If they were a witch. Absent minded, look on Rose's face, happy because of joy from having that dream she had given a child more made in reality. Definitely. Probably. Now that's the mountain of cake. In an instant, the sky was covered and became black and white in the shape of a chessboard. That almost transparent white part was a favorite rare che cheesecake. Cheese? Oh, I want. Wait, cheese? I want some cheese. Okay, black part was a slightly bitter gaku and on chocolate. That became the ceiling. It became a mountain. Several billion cakes were thrown down toward Rosa. If you pile up the cakes up, it surely be taller than Mount Everest. They'd probably weighed. I'm not too sure, but probably having all the cakes across Japan put together. Jesus, she's mad with power. Shit. Put on like a ceiling and swallowed Rosa oak. So the very, very natural result, Rose was crushed to death. In less than a second, her bones broke through her body and her insides were... Ugh. Even so, a greater number of cakes piled up on top, Rose ended up with a layer of jam wedged between the cakes. 
became as thick as a single hair and was probably smashed up in the area of a tennis court. Okay, in the in the anime, Maria also suffers with Rosa. I don't know why. What is Maria doing? She thinks she would run. Yeah, Zoe had been a dream. Rosa was revived once again. Of course, it definitely wasn't a dream. She had been revived after dying. At that point, death, which most humans only have to experience after once, had become an experience feed by Yoda, Rosa. So she doesn't yellow. She doesn't yellow. In other words, she had gone through the which humans cannot. The pretty screen of dying were the ones. <laughs> Isn't this fun, Rosa? Isn't this fun? Next is the butterflies. Look. But please have mercy. No way. Let's play more. Let's play more. <laughs> I feel instantly. She pointed her going staff for Rosa as she begged for mercy. When she did, Rosa looked at her goal and rapidly gained the strength. She drank down the side of a real butterfly. Then gold wings sprouted from her back. And she joined her fellow gold butterflies. And while a human body cannot withstand that wind, different matter for a butterfly's body, the gold butterfly rose and invited to dance by each gale of wind. And she spun a circle around the rose garden. No! Yeah. As her dance wore out, she was caught by a gentle bed. It was a soft, knit hammock in the shadow beneath the roof of the arbor. A hammock lumbered into the welcoming her guest. I don't know what she'd been small enough to crush the palm of her hand. That one looked as big as the, as the top of the candy bed the Rosa. <laughs> what a cut. She got caught in a spider's web. Oh, she got eaten by a spider. This time, the dance was a spider. This takes me back. Remember that time we couldn't find spider when I played around with the child? Oh. Without that venom, when this inside monster sticky tube, they suck it up. Hey, Rosa, remember? I always throw butterflies and their flies on purpose and play around and see how the spider would talk. No, oh, you don't do you. That happened before you, you got into grade school. Make sure you watch closely this time, okay? Very closely. Yeah. No. Have mercy, Nason. Help me, Nason. Yeah. I'm not screaming, I'm too lazy. This girl's not bad, she's sure can use magic at will. Things <laughs> are inter interesting, you feel like laughing too, right, Battler? Don't screw with me! Stop it already! What's so fun? You're insane! You're insane! What's so fun about doing something like this? Doesn't that look so fun? What do you expect? Magic is fun! I remember when I first began to use magic, I played around a lot. I understand. That play from the bottom of my heart. Looks like I won't be able to share his joint pass when you battle. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. You accept me. I'll teach you about it anytime you want, okay? So I describe the joy you see from the instant you are free from the shackles of humanity. I want to teach you about the joy, that passion. I definitely want, would like to see the world of magic you give birth to just once. And this is staring starting to get fun. You're starting to run these back too, haven't you? It's pretty fun to be a witch, isn't it? Just for you, I'll teach you everything. But the joy of flying together in the sky, but the joy of diving together through the sea. I want to teach you the passion and start from the instant you surprise the bonds of humans and see how wide your world stretches. Wouldn't that be fun? There was no malice in Beatrice's expression. It was hard to believe, but she was she was genuinely enjoying this cool show. And she wanted to share that excruciation with Batler. I was shocked that by that hopelessly different measure of value. You're insane, stop it already. Virgil, stop with insane farce, which I do! We could eat some cheese. I mean, we just have a bowl. We can not touch the board ourselves. Virgil shook her head apologetically. Her body had already been killed. Does that means she couldn't fear it anyway. The beater continued to look interested in the same sort of way. Battle Wolf moved up her by the collar and yelled at her. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Quit making surround you, witch. Are you trying to tell me that I the evil boss on? That's impossible. The evil boss I may know is me at times. It's completely impossible that she's kind of perfect that would do something that's cruel. It's all part of your deception. Don't toy with the boss on. Don't toy with evil boss on. Stop this farce right now. I told you, I'm not going to play with Rose anymore. I told you, that's a new Beatrice. It's really so cool we have to squeal like that. You're already pretty fine of stuff like that, aren't you? You actually have a bit of interest in magic in. Ouch. What? What are you doing? First time. Batward slapped Beatrice's cheek. Finally. Beatrice didn't know why I'd done something like that to her, and a surprise expression rose to her face. Bower especially couldn't forget that expression, and he roared. Urgh, this is interesting! What's wrong with your head? 
die. Try and slice up your hands with pieces and look inside until you find the remains have been completely removed. Stop it right now. Stop the disgusting farce. I'll forgive you. How could you do something so cruel? I have something I thought I thought I thought you were a bit of a funny person, but I never make that mistake again. Some monster's always cruel. Don't show yourself in front of me. Never again. I won't accept you, won't talk to you, don't want even want to look at your face. Did you hear me? Don't show yourself in front of me. Disappear! Into a battle screen, the power that resisted the witch became a red wall and knocked Beato back onto your booty. Ow! What are you talking about? Isn't this an interesting show? She spoke as though making an excuse, but the person that was worth to direct that battle was no longer there. His figure of sweet disappeared into darkness. Beato looked displeased and continued trying to explain herself. It's not I completely don't see where he's coming from, but this isn't a more than an innocent prank, right? No matter if she kills that perfectly burned to life in the end, right? I am a creature that fine that no longer any well. Hey, teacher, uh, it's not like it's so angry about, is it? She told for approval, but Virgil was sh simply faced her with an indifferent expression. To be told at that moment, even surprised face would have been would have seemed better. I have nothing but you go to say. If you think it's fun, you can keep watching what you want. Call when it's finished. I'm gonna race my form to the end. Following Bowers' lead, Virgil hit herself in the darkness. Beato, who's not completely isolated, didn't have a clue what was going on. She like they were making her out to be the bad guy. What's wrong? An interesting show. It might be a little vulgar, but it's fine interesting, isn't it? Hey, Rano! Nothing gets all mad about, right? Cute, 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 cute. So many interesting for you, Miguel. He's not necessarily just interesting, but that's Lasoma. Do they really hate me that much? Well, certainly we are enemies and opponents in this competition. Was a rage that really that bad we can't laugh together as entertainment? So I planned to go about it. Finally, to laugh with him. Did he really joke so much we can't even do that? And to accept that I'm a witch. Because we're challenging each other in this game. But still, say he won't look at my face. And he won't talk to me. If I do, I'll ignore me. Have I really hated that much? Only to this point, you advance several moves that would make you hate him, lady. You need to yourself a slightly understand back with someone's feelings. I hope you can all stand that because you are especially thick headed, my lady. Picky, 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 picky. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Why did you disappear too? Yes, yeah, certainly. Then if you would excuse me. Picky, 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 picky. If Ronald hid himself in the darkness, but he just left alone. The only one, ro the only one in the ra rainy rose garden. A lonely witch who had no one to play with. If no one would play with her, she was a lonely witch. What's going on? Why would you want to play with me? Am I really that weird? That cruel? Someone answer me! <laughs> yeah, isn't this fun, Rose? Isn't this fun? Hi, right, now, who should we play next? Of course, why should I play with Maria too, Roy? Let's all have a friendly walk together, okay? Let's go in the pool of boing. Pop the pool chocolate. Let's have a picnic in our cake risen oven. No. <laughs> hey, uh, no being a trash. Upon the witch, I was continuing her mad banquet. Peter showed herself. I bet it was very rare for her. It was kind of restrained, unreli un unreliable, miserable. Oh, surprise as a bee, Jasama. What are you watching? The power of magic is truly wonderful. I don't know, I never thought I'd be so fun to be born of the witch. It's like play down never ends. Come on, let's play together, priest, says Sama. First, wait for a second, okay? You better let me cook the death in the oven so I can ride them again. They're like bread riding because of yeast. I can't, a cookie's been in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> What's the one I'm saying? Um, well, isn't that enough for sacrifice second twilight? Of course it isn't, especially how you kill them, but maybe you shouldn't tell them any more than that. What are you saying, Priest of Summer? I had from run up a short while ago. What your magic, much more wonderful crew in the sign? I had a wing party where candies four out of the six people because were truly wonderful. So maybe I'll that Alice's tea party. I'm right there with tea party celebrating creature in pointless state. And saying them one by one but use my magic. And one flees you. What the? Why is she Miley Cyrus? I wonder if I can be cruel in my own pop cute song. Now I think about it, all fairy tales are cute, aren't they? I don't know which inside one of the fairy tales I finally understand. I have also, um, I fought that in the past. I might have gone a little too far. Well, I think that's going with just good idea to have a little elegance. I don't get what you're saying, Priest of the Summer. The ones I'm going to do understand, no matter how much I, how hard I try now, I'm no match for a cool as you are. I've got to try much, much harder. I'm going to become more cool and become an excellent golden witch. Well, like I said, I haven't done anything yet enough here. 
No, th this is my predecessor to armor. That's enough for second Twilight. I'll show you how it's done. Stand back and watch. Yes, Risa Asama. I can want to see what brutal, cruel, and disgusting method of killing you use. New Witch grasped the side of her skirt and even gave a graceful bow, stepping back as an expected gaze rode to her face. Suspecting an even more cruel mag that showed the past even herself. Well, speaking of that, you're only half a witch. You can only so you can only kill with the methods like that. I will show you how I'm gonna the kill. Why do you have the golden witch? It's how you kill people. Mioto waved her pipe. Seven covers of smoke poured out by Maria and Rosa Maria. Compared to how new Beatrice had done it a short while ago, it was slightly gentler. It was probably gentler than how Beato had done herself until up to now. Wood conscious has already gone to the dim from the pain of repeated deaths. Even so, she pleaded that her daughter be spared. Please, have mercy. Even just Maria, have mercy. Mama, mama! Sorry, my side will just act a little run for a bit. Um, forgive me. Beatrice! Beatrice, what? We arrived at the real Beatrice, she jumped into her. You promised, right, Beatrice? You promised that you would take Maria to the Golden Land, right? To be friendly with Mom and everyone will laugh together. You promised that you would be there, right? Um, about that, I can no longer keep that promise. Because someone appeared with all the arrow. I don't want to go on with Beatrice, so I can no longer keep my promise to you. Why, 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 Beatrice promised? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to. Just gonna have to choke you now. So, at least upon you not being able to keep my promise. It truly is quiet. I'll give you sleep, we'll never be troubled again. We will embrace my loving trash on Beato's face. Then softly, a red bruise appeared on Maria's neck. It was a very gentle bruise. His memory grew bit by bit, and when it suddenly formed itself in the shape of a hand, Maria's neck tilted suddenly, peaceful, as though she had fallen asleep. Maria! Maria! Uh, sorry, uh, I want to apologize that you were sacrificed for Twilight. That is simply your fate. However, I must upon a throwing away which you were offered sacrifices. This is your final sleep. Never again will be disturbed. Beatrice softly, gently lifted her finger, as though tempting the empty air in front of her nose. When she did, a light breeze lifted up, making Rose Body dance light like a feather. Then Rose Body lifted lightly, and there were the Rose Garden fence with, spe with spear shaped prongs. Oh no. They show her, they stay on. Like, okay, you guys tell us, but like, Rosa's head goes through the spike. See, right there. The spear of a fence pierced Rosa's medolium abo. To say her head! But then we, without toying with her in a single bow, a blow, Rosa's life was snapped out. And yeah, in the anime, it sh like, they un. When they answer it, it shows her, it's creepy. But the earlier innocent yet cruel events seemed to have much fast to end. It looked like a doll to the Rosa was leaning against the fence. But she had passed away. Wow, so not like that. Beatrice acted proud, but the new witch wore a blank expression, almost as though this was an anti climax. Then she said it aloud. It's quite a plain. Very different from the priest that someone Ronald told me about. Well, you must use my with dignity, right? If it's too hard, I'm on dignified, that isn't very elegant. Even though you're rocking down with you, that max you on for endlessly. Boring. No, don't complain. The path to going which cannot be queen in a day. You are chilling. You are chilling. Complain until you finish this time at twilight. For now, stand quiet and follow my instructions. All right. What happened to your answer? Your answer. Sure. That's good. That is. Well, there's still to do down the resurrection ceremony. You still have to kill five people. You do it without toying with them too much, with beauty and dignity. Or the weight's a little strain, right? Round toy. Well, Ryan told you about how I did it. That was a bad example. You mustn't use that as a model. Engrave that into your heart. Yes, Princess Asoma. Good answer. Right up the seventh thing, Purgatory. Arise! That's why the I run up here. Whisper of pride right here. I know it's pointing out. Um, I've done something a little flashy, but, um. Well, then you're going, which isn't also important. Well, about that. Ronald laughed at Beatrice's uncaretsly fluttered speech. He summed it up for her. Suddenly, from now on, we, able to we will be kept to form an ancestral grateful man, a suitable name of the Golden Witch. Even if they take a purgatory, we'll form the bad baby hunter now. We shall explore to a form of town the quickest way manner. Will that be acceptable, milady? Hmm, that's more or less. Everyone, take it to heart, alright? Yes, certainly. That 
that's what I have to say. You may leave now. Certainly, if you will excuse us. Excuse us. Well, that's all I want to say. So take care of your continue, all right? Kill dignity and um, prudence, all right? You should do your best. I'll be watching over you. Acting assured until the very end, Beato communicated only that became a group of gold butterflies and hid herself from the empty air. She didn't have any business here, so it might be fitting to say that she disappeared in a hurry. After all, all that remained was Maria's corpse, lying down and pondered in the rain. Rosa's corpse, prompt like a fence staring up to the sky, and the figure of the witch. Ah, prudence, you sigh. Brushing looked like a little board. There was a popping sound. That was probably her clicking her tongue. What a boring person. That last in behind, she once again hit herself in the empty air.